know that the Honor 6X is great in the camera department, but camera isn't everything. So let's know more about its overall performance with pros and cons. Abhishek from C Tono Tech, and today we're gonna do the full review of this Honor 6S, 6X. So I'm gonna start with the uh, specifications. This phone comes with 4 gigabytes of RAM, and you can even choose a 3 gigabyte RAM variant, which comes with 32 gigs. This is with a 64 gigs, out of which you get 51 GB free, and you can definitely expand it to 128 gigs. Uh, after that, the, this phone is uh, definitely. Uh, high uh, because of its camera so this have a 12 megapixel primary camera and the secondary camera which is 2 megapixel helps in the bokeh shots and it have a single tone led with a fingerprint scanner at the front you have a 8 megapixel uh, selfie camera and you have a earpiece and honor branding at the chin and on the side you have power but uh, power button and the volume rocker at the uh, at the left you have the same image uh, uh, sim slot and I would like to tell you that this sim uh, slot uh, is hybrid so you can either put two sims or one sim and one SD card and on the top you have a, a microphone and a 3.5 mm headphone jack at the bottom we have uh, we have two uh, uh, vents for, out of which one of them is a speaker and second one is a microphone and after all this I would like to tell you the main highlighting point which is the processor well it's not that highlighting but it does have Huawei's own processor which is the high silicon Kirin 655 and the GPU is Mali A830 GPU so uh, I'm gonna start with some pointers I'm gonna talk about so let's start with the look and feel without but first I would like to tell you most important thing because you need to uh, mention that before you buy this phone now Honor has dropped the price uh, of the price of this device earlier it was for 15,000 for a 4 gigabyte variant but right now the 4 gigabyte variant is for 13,000 rupees uh, uh, same price as the Redmi Note 4 top, uh, top end model so uh, let's start with the look and feel the phone have a 2.5D glass and 2.5D glass feel really nice when you use, a, uh, use your phone for like day to day usage while typing and all at the back the phone is uh, curved so it feels very slim uh, but with a slimness comes a slipperiness because if you use this phone without the case it may slip out of your hand so i would like to recommend you a good case and due to its 2.5d glass the tempered glass is not so not available edge to edge so there this is a some type of problem but there will be availability at some point so next i'm going to talk about the software out of the box it comes with android 6.0 marshmallow with the huawei emotion ui 4.1 and the uh, Android 7.0 with Huawei uh, Emotion UI 5.0 is confirmed for this device. Other variants, like some international variants, have already got the 5.0 uh, Emotion UI and the Android Nougat, but in India, it's still uh, update is still not occurred, which I think is not good, but it may it may come at some point. And uh, with the software, I'm going to tell you this phone with, comes with great features. If you go into the Smart Assistant tab, you have a great uh, kind of controls on this phone. We have navigation bar. You can change the uh, look and feel of it, and, which, and the position, the navigation keys. You have floating dock, which helps you get the back keys and multitasking key. You have one hand UI and many things, so you can use the phone just like this with one hand, which is pretty great. So after coming with the software, I'm going to like to. Uh, talk about its hardware. I already told you that this phone have the high silicon kernel 655 octa core processor, and its uh, four cores are clocked at 1.7 gigahertz and four are clocked at 2.1 gigahertz, which is pretty great. And it's pretty great. And uh, I uh, and I have tested the phone pretty much. First, I'm going to show you the Geekbench scores uh, of this device. So let me go on the screenshots and show you the Geekbench score. As you can see, uh, it's just too uh, pretty high in the multi-core and uh, just 
good enough in, in the single core score and in day to day usage I didn't feel that much of an issue like you can do multitasking without any issues but when it comes to N22 benchmarks I got 57,000 uh, as a score and it's because of the uh, poor GPU performance I'm not saying it's very bad but you can easily play some heavy heavy games but as part 8 only on medium settings if you go into high settings you're gonna notice a great amount of lag so next I'm gonna take, talk about its camera which is the main highlighting point you can take great amount of uh, bokeh shots and all I'll just open the camera interface so that you can get an idea how good does it look and I'm just gonna open the camera as you can see it's just uh, some it's a basic when you open at first but you have many options and the cam the record uh, the resolution can be up to 12 megapixel for the uh, photos and recording can up to be 1080p right now set to VGA but now it's 1080p and this uh, you can also watch 1080p 60fps videos on this phone if you're streaming on YouTube that will not be an issue and the front facing camera is also pretty great sorry uh, and out when the outdoor performance is very great indoor is also some point it's nice but in very low light the front camera will uh, lag at some point but the back camera if you use the night shot mod it will be pretty amazing and you can like you can see what you see from your eyes it's so much clear for that next i'm going to talk about the battery life the battery life is pretty great of this phone i'm going to again show you some screenshot which i have taken uh, with the battery life as you can see with my heavy usage i'm able to get 5 hours of screen on time as you can see here and uh, and the same day i'm also getting 6 hours of but when i do light usage i was able to get um, about 8 hours of screen on time which is pretty great and Huawei claims that if you uh, use the phone for light usage it can go for about uh, two days but if you use for heavy usage or medium to heavy usage it can last for one and a half or very heavy usage just one day and the charging speed of this phone is pretty great it can charge from uh, one and a half or to two hours you can charge your full phone and uh, the battery capacity is 3340 looks less but works pretty great now I'm gonna tell you about the day to day performance I'm using this phone like about now for a month only and I have not noticed any issues with this device I use YouTube play games and I've tested a hell lot of games on this device like I've just searched all the play store and played heavy games modern combat 5 works pretty great uh, the contract killer and all all the heavy games but the lag I noticed was on aspire date I don't know whether it's due to the GPU or whether the lack of optimization of that game with this phone so I cannot uh, claim on that but it's just there and uh, you can play medium to heavy games for more info you can check our gaming review also and relating to the camera you can check our camera review also so that you can get better info what we are just telling you right now next uh, I'm gonna just divide this full review right now into pros and cons so the pros of this camera of uh, pros of this device sorry is definitely its camera because you can take great outdoor shots the video will be great I mean it have some kind of electronic stabilization so videos are not that shaky and the front camera selfies can be great outside and and uh, what else yeah the fingerprint is also it's I think the most sensitive fingerprint I've ever seen on this device any device basically because it's just like waking up your phone with a tap just do it and it will open so that's the pros now we're talking about the cons cons so the cons are uh, you can say the speaker because the speakers are not at the louder side and uh, they lack some um, loudness and definitely I would love to talk about the headphone jack because the output if you use very heavy headphones the output from the headphone jack will not be that great but the microphone let's come to one point of pro that the microphone is very great and the earpiece also very great if you're talking um, network reception is also pretty good you get almost full bars most of the time and let's just uh, compare we're gonna do a short comparison with the redmi note 4 not will not take that much of time so i'm bringing in the redmi note 4 and just keeping my prop away and the main comparison of the uh, these devices will be basically the performance because the redmi note 4 have uh, 
like great battery life and it can uh, it can even play asphalted with without any issues even on high settings and i think um, the battery life is great but for two days of battery life for some for two days of battery life it is best that you get the redmi note 4 and even with the uh, heavy usage you can last for one and a half day but the uh, honor 6s can even last for one day or one and a half day at some point and so the one thing that the Honor 6s is better than the Redmi Note 4 will be definitely the camera because it's a camera centric phone and the low lights, the outdoor shots are great on Redmi Note 4 I will not uh, just, uh, I will like to say that and uh, but if you want to get the bokeh and the cool uh, low light shot you can definitely go for the Honor 6x now my work take is the, red, uh, is the Honor 6x worth buying? Well, definitely yes if you want a uh, camera centric phone and play casual games or some type of medium to heavy games and it w th there will be no issues at day to day usage. But if you want great battery life, awesome performance, you can go for the Redmi Note 4. So that's all I would like to say for this video guys. Thanks for watching. Do like and subscribe for more. Follow us on Twitter and Instagram. Stay geeky and peace.